What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another quick twin motion for, tutorial for you. So in today's video, I usually don't make videos on the weekend, but this was something I just kind of wanted to get out there because I was really excited to see that the feature exists. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to apply individual textures to individual objects instead of replacing everywhere or replacing the materials everywhere within an imported model. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I really want to keep this as kind of a quick video. So let's jump into this really fast. So um, basically what I want to show you is I want to show you a way where um, you can replace materials instead of replacing all of a material at once inside of your models um, that you've imported from like SketchUp or something like that. I wanted to show you a way where you can apply those materials individually to an object. So um, instead of replacing all of this with the same material, you can apply a different material to each one of these posts or different instances of this post, and I wanted to show you how. So the first thing I wanna show you, and the first thing that's gonna be important is the way that you import your models. So if you remember, we've imported our models in here using the import function. And when we first do this, it asks us a question, and that question gets pretty important when we're trying to apply um, different materials to different objects inside of your model. So when you first import a model from SketchUp. Um, so if I click import and I find my file and this is the cottage cabin model by son of a gun which is something you can find on the SketchUp 3D warehouse but when you double click on your file and you go down into your options this gives you two options and I kind of glossed over this uh, before but it's really kind of important so you can either set it to collapse your tree over here or your outliner by material or you can keep your model hierarchy and that's going to be really important because that's going to affect the way that you can apply materials to SketchUp models and so what I've done is I've imported this twice. I've imported it once where I selected the option for collapse by material. I've imported again where I told it to keep the same model hierarchy. So in this object right over here, um, right now, this is basically broken up by material inside of my model. So the organization is by material. So I can't come in here and select individual like posts or anything like that. So when I click on this, you can see how I'm basically getting the colors that are listed in here. Well, what that means is those objects in the hierarchy aren't broken up as separate objects, meaning that I can't apply individual textures to them. So if we come over here and we look at this other model, if we look at this, you can see how I selected the option for keep model hierarchy you can see how now this model and this geometry kept the hierarchy that we had in there um, previously um, based on the SketchUp model so the organization of the groups and everything else stayed in here based on that so the other thing about that is that means I can take these objects and I can actually move them around inside of the SketchUp model. So I would say, generally speaking, I'm kind of liking importing all of these and keeping the um, model hierarchy as opposed to um, doing what we did over here, which is reorganizing this based on material. So now let's get into the second part of this video, which is how you can replace your materials on your individual objects inside of Twin Motion. So I was super excited to find this earlier today because I didn't know this was an option. So previously what we've done with materials, and I'm going to make an in-depth materials tutorial, but previously what we've done is we just use the material picker to select an object, and then we would just find something, like in this case like the wood or something like that, and we would use it to replace a material inside of Twin Motion. Well the problem with that is when you look at something like um, all of these beams and posts and things like that, that really doesn't look very good. So even if I was to like scale these up and come in here and mess around and try to change the rotation you can see how none of these have the same orientation or anything else so you just get this kind of weird effect that you don't really want inside of this model now what you could do is you could come down and try to find something like uh, I think there's some wood panels down here like this ash or something like that you could try to find something like that um, that kind of looks uniform but that kind of looks weird too because the grains don't face the right direction well if we have a model like this one over here, which we've imported with each one of these being an individual group, first of all, you can apply a material to the individual groups in here 
by using this button right here. So if you click and hold this, you can see how this gives you two options. The first is replace material. So if I was to select replace material, then I was to drag in this mahogany wood material, you can see how this would replace everywhere where this wood material was with this mahogany material. And that's problematic because if you come in here and you adjust the scale for one of these things, you can see how that's adjusting on all of them. However, and I'm just gonna undo this, if I was to click and hold on this and click on apply to object, well now, because these objects are in here as their own individual objects, you can apply each one of these separately instead of applying them um, to everywhere where this wood material is. So like for example, I could select all of these objects and I could drag the mahogany wood onto those objects and then I could come in here and I could adjust the rotation and size of that material. So I could rotate this like 90 degrees or something like that and also adjust the scale of that material so it looks a little bit more like a wood. But then I could also on each one of these objects select them and apply a wood material a little bit differently. So in this case maybe I would select these two objects by doing a control click, and then I could drag that same mahogany wood on here, but now I could adjust the orientation of the grains in there separately. So if I rotated this, like let's say we rotated this 150 degrees, and I might have to adjust the scale a little bit, but you can see how now the grain is running diagonally on this one, while this is a separate material and the grain is running up and down on this one. So what that allows you to do is that allows you to customize the way your materials are applied to different faces inside of twin motion. So that gives you a lot more control over these individual materials. And you can see how if I use the material picker, and let's use something like this ash wood as an example. So if I apply this ash wood to this, and then I was to select these two and apply the ash wood to these, and go in here and adjust their orientation 90 degrees, you can see if I use the material picker to sample one of them, the wood grain runs this way, and if I sample the other one, the wood grain runs the other way. So what this allows you to do is this allows you to create different, um, different versions of that same material that run in a way that makes sense. So like I said, I will be doing a more in-depth material tutorial next week, but this was something I was really excited about seeing because up until today, I didn't realize that you could uh, apply materials individually to different objects as opposed to just completely replacing one material inside of your renderings. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you know this was in here? Um, have you been using Twin Motion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.